What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, we're going to talk about Kalima. Kalima Dow Finance. Guys, I love these type of protocols. We got Wonderland, we got Olympus Dow, 3-3, Tree Tree, and Time Time. I wish they came up with a better one. But anyways, guys, uh, Kalima Dow, a carbon-backed digital currency and algorithmic climate protocol. Man, that's a big jumble. It's not live yet. They haven't had the staking coming soon. But guys, it's going to be similar to Olympus Dow. I'm going to explain a couple features to, to you. And yes, we will explain the carbon credits because that is what it's backed by. But what's a carbon credit worth anyways? Well, without further ado, let's just go and get into this. Yeah, guys, I disappeared. So what are carbon credits? So carbon credits, they aren't IOUs, but they're almost bottled up like, hey, you can use carbon in this area if you got a credit. It basically allows you to emit one ton of carbon. And the reason why this is important is you can actually produce carbon or have these carbon credit emissions produced in other places for a lower lower cost. And let me just show you guys the costs of the different markets so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. If you go to different carbon credit websites for like, for example, a flight offset, it ranges from $14 to 56 bucks. Same thing here, this is 14 bucks, saving the rainforest, 14 bucks. And then if you go on another website, like right here, Safer Water, it's $12 a ton, $10 a ton here. Why is it cheaper there? Like, what the snap? What's going on? Why is it $18 a ton here? Because it's different in different areas, guys. Uh, because it costs less in different areas or its carbon is not as intense over there. Obviously, when you're in a city, having a carbon credit is going to be worth a lot more because there's already a lot of pollution. So if we go back into the Kalima, it talks about the carbon markets. This is what they're capitalizing on. So if you go on these back on these websites in order to buy these different credits, you literally put in like a credit card and do all this junk, whatever. But how cool would it be to be able to use Kalima Dow for doing all this? One Kalima is basically equal to one carbon credit. That's what it's going to be backed by. And I'll explain it later in the article or actually in this video. Uh, but the point is, is what are carbon markets? Carbon markets are used to reduce greenhouse gas emissions cost effectively. So in other areas, it's going to be cheaper. In other areas where it's a lot more pollutive, it's going to be more expensive and so on. So trading enables entities to reduce emissions at a lower cost and be paid to do so by higher cost emitters. So the higher cost guys like producing like nuts and ham, uh, what the snap, what do we do? Well, they got to buy carbon credits from someone so they can buy it from other people who are not producing as much. So that's kind of how it equals out. And it keeps from like wrecking the world. Just imagine if everything and everyone was just like producing as much as they had or as much as they could and there was no regulation, it would be pretty bad. So what's the difference between carbon offsets and renewable energy? So renewable energy doesn't need a carbon offset because, well, it's not polluting the earth. So they don't even need a carbon offset for something like a plant that uses or produces carbon and so on. They're going to need to purchase these carbon offsets or carbon credits. Revenues from carbon credits are given to project developers, setting up a more eco-friendly world and they're paid and incentivized to do so. Well, let's go and get into the introduction of Kalima Dow. Now that you guys kind of grasp and understand carbon credits and now what the value is of them. As you can see on different websites, they can range from as low as a dollar to $50. And they, they range all over. I mean, it depends from time to time. Obviously, the more carbon we have in the world, the higher the price is going to be. And obviously, when it gets lower, it goes lower and so on. Kalima Dow incentivizes new supply of base carbon tones on the blockchain through Kalima. Now, how are they doing this? Well, my buddy over on ATOM is Region Network. Check out this little map right here. You guys see this right here? Already tokenized carbon assets. They're gonna use Region Network. Yeah, guys, they're over on Cosmos. Shout out to them, baby. Uh, but basically, they're going to be use the already tokenized assets and be able to bring them on the bridge. The bridge is going to be coming across, but it's going to give a better and more liquid carbon traded market. Why is this important? Well, I mean, first off, just look at this website, 14 to $56, what the snap? I mean, dude, we need like better liquidity. I mean, that's like trading a USDC stable coin for USDT and swapping uh, one for like 50 cents. It's not right, no. 
And this is going to bring more liquidity in addition to that for the carbon standards and it's going to have the Kalima. So Kalima is building the first is the first building block for unlocking the carbon economy. You guys know how much I love first mover advantage. The ecosystem and monetary po policy are managed by the Kalima DAO. Now, who are those people? Well, the holders of the token. So you can do that by getting the token. Now, how are they going to achieve scale? Well, demand for BCTs and via Kalima with the bridge. So like I mentioned to you, the bridge will be coming out on Polygon. This is going to be on Polygon as well. So gas fees are basically going to be non-existent. Here are a couple terms you guys need to know. Kalima, climate. That's basically what the token is. It's just that's the meaning of it. Tokenized carbon tones. They basically represent one ton of removed carbon from the Earth's atmosphere. Klima is the token of the economy. You got the BCT, which is a base carbon pool, and it accepts any TCO2, which is the tokenized carbon tons, independent of project type. Then you have bonding. So this is like when you buy the Kalima tokens at a lower price and so on. Like I've explained in the Olympus DAO, as well as the Wonderland video. If you don't understand how Olympus DAO or Wonderland works, the very best thing to do is watch my Olympus DAO video and you'll understand this exactly and then your mind will be blown. Biggest thing to know is tree tree, baby. Staking. So staking participants can lock up their Klima tokens for a fixed period and receive additional Klima and return and the rebasing mechanism and so on. It gives you extra tokens. The reason why I say tree tree is because when I stake, you stake, we both win. So I stake my stake to earn chicken. You stake your stake to earn chicken. We both win. We both become chickens. It's fun. But if I don't stake and I sell and you sell, that's going to crash the price. That is the game theory behind this. This is how you can understand it. Of course, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just explaining to you common terms, game theory, and three, three. Actually, tree, tree. I really like this protocol because they're trying to attack something that is a major issue on earth. Have you guys ever walked outside and you're like, well, ever walked outside? Yeah, we're in crypto. We, we always just stay inside. But you go outside and it's like everything's getting more extreme. Rains are getting worse. The, the heat's getting worse. The cold's getting worse. Why is that? Well, guys, it's because the carbon in the atmosphere, the carbon is destroying the atmosphere and it's causing just chaos here. You guys will see. I mean, two years from now, you think it's bad. Just wait till two years from now. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be intense heat. I mean, you can literally walk outside. For example, in Florida, you walk outside, you get sunburned within three minutes. It's nuts and ham, baby. You can't go outside with being dressed up and everything, and you're sweating your buns off, and it's like, what the snap? But anyways, that's why I really like Kalima Dow. Let's go ahead and go straight on their website so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. But the black hole for carbon, I love that. That is fire sauce. I'm gonna get rid of my face, peace out. But the biggest thing you guys need to know is this token is backed by one ton of tokenized carbon. And yes, that is actually worth something. So Kalima is a vacuum for carbon. Amen to that, brother. Each carbon is tokenized in a transparent and traceable way to prevent double spending. And these credits are sucked off the market and absorbed through the system through a bonding mechanism. And guys, they're gonna have the bridge for that. So bonding is how the carbon enters through the treasury and new Kalima is created. Anyone can buy Kalima at a discount, AKA through bonding and so on. If you guys don't remember how Wonderland and Olympus DAO works, just take a look into those videos and take a look. You guys can join the discord. You can read the docs yourself. You can check out the app as well. But like I said, this is not live right now. So you kind of got to wait. So you guys can also check out the app right now. But again, guys, this is not live. So this is kind of on a test net, but this is an example of what it would look like. So say, for example, you have one Kalima, I don't know, whatever. Um, and the next rebase is 49%. So if a rebase was 49%, you would basically turn one Kalima into 1.49 Kalima. Now that's each rebase. It rebases three times every day. So <laughs> literally that is nuts and ham. A good example of this is would you rather have the magic penny that multiplies every single day for 31 days or a million dollars? The answer is the penny that multiplies every single day for 31 days. Because at the end of 31 days, if you multiply a penny like today I get one, tomorrow I get two, the next day I get four, 
that will turn into over $10 million in 31 days. That is the power of exponential growth. And that's what you will see with Klima, with Olympus Dow, or even Wonderland. But of course, guys, not financial advice, uh, not a financial advisor. This is not taking into consideration the price of the token. The price of the token can fall off the face of the earth, or it can explode to the moon, go beyond the moon, go beyond the sun, and go beyond Mars. And it's like, what the snap? Where's the price? And you can't find it because it keeps going to the moon. Or it can just go to zero. So that's something to keep in mind. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Let's go and end this off with a wisdom one-liner. Friday chapter 16, verses 24. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Amen to that, baby. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit $100. Bucks, add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it. So I can buy a sandwich with my crypto. I don't use BTC, but I'll use like stable coins and junk. So anyways. Gotta say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bot, Dumb Man, Tariq Liu, TL King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Taco Nacho, Matias, Matt There Is, DMC Codes, Isn't That a Band, Pork Rind, Oh Snap, Roslav Alexandrovich, Don't Mess With the Russian, Jay Shinny, Cool Dance Move, Mark Albano, Money Mark, Tamiko, In the House, Jay Allen, Ray Ray for three, Mario Mahushka, It's a me, a Mario, and OG Spasm, he's the real OG.